in defense of Nassau. Built after Fort Montego and Fort Charlotte, and century located between them, Fort Fincastle offered further protection of the town of Nassau. They're the cannons that defended it. That's what it defended against. Yes, and its harbour, strategically placed on the highest point of the island. Bennett's Hill, this small fort, provided an excellent vantage port, port for look at lookouts. Lord Dunmore describes his newly constructed fort in a later dated February the 17th, 1794, as a battery upon a hill, mounting two 24-pounders, two 32-pounders, two 12-pounders and one Hawaki, which not only covers the battery in Hog Island, Paradise Island, but all the towns and roads to the eastward where the one by night probably had affected a landing. There he is, Lord Dunmore. And yeah, this wasn't the only fort, there was many forts, but this is the first one we come to. And this is Fort Beautiful. Look at these cannons, they defended this island. They defended it against all of the outsiders. And they built this to defend themselves. Fort Fincastle. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna explore. And then we're going to go to the other forts. And we're going to go to the museum. And we've come to the Caribbean to find out about the pirates. Shine on to the history of the Bahamas. And I hope the world can learn from all of the histories. Because we don't want to ever go through that again. Shine on, look. This is where this is the beautiful Fort Fincastle. And look, this is all of their stuff. Where the cannons were mounted. All along here. Because they were defending the islands against all of out there. Fort Fincastle. It was actually built in 1797 and it was Lord Dunmore and what a great great place it will forever shine on and it's so nice that they kept it here we don't ever want to lose our history we don't ever want to go through that again welcome to Fort Fincastle Bahamas Caribbean January the 24th 2023 shine on